Welcome to the Photoshop channel. My name is Erwin Marino, and today I'll be showing you guys how to mask an image for a hidden text effect. Now for this example, I'm going to be editing a hypothetical thumbnail. So I'm going to place the text thumbnail behind me in the picture that you see. Now this is an effect that used to be far more complicated and take a lot more time. But thankfully Photoshop has a feature that allows you to select a subject without you having to do any of the complicated steps. Now if we look at this image, then obviously I'm the subject. And we want to place the text behind me in this image. So all we're going to have to do is go to the select tab, scroll down to subject, and literally as simple as that photoshop identifies it on the subject and creates a perfect outline of me from the background so now that i'm selected all we have to do is hit command j and it'll automatically duplicate myself onto a separate layer and the reason why we want to do this is because we're able to put a text layer in between the two and i'll show you in a second what we're going to do to check what we just did is turn off the original layer and now you should see a perfect cut out of myself just to make sure that everything worked the way we wanted it to and as you can see this is literally a perfect cut out and let's turn the background layer back on and what we're going to do now is make sure the background layer is selected and scroll over to the text tool and we're just going to click and start typing so i'm just going to type in thumbnail for this example now all we have to do is make it the size that we want and move it around and get it in position the way we would like now the beautiful thing about this is because we have the cutout of myself on a layer above the text, it doesn't really matter where we place the text, it's going to always be behind me. So there's no complicated masking or you know having to make a lot of changes just to make a small adjustment. It's really, really easy. Like this literally only takes a few seconds. I hope this video was helpful and be sure to subscribe to the Photoshop channel for more tips and tricks just like this one.